is I mean, Luis, so today we have this one is the um, uh, quarter glass for the uh, sorry, um, uh, Buick and Club. This one is really hard to remove. So, what I did is now I got my new tool here is the BTV. Um, uh, we're gonna just now first we have to lubricate a lot, so that's what they say. The lubrication is very important. Remember, this one is really far from this area, so I'm gonna make my first cut on this point. It's a little tight here because those guys put all the interior here, so I cannot get the seats down and I have to cover the corner for each panel because I don't want to scratch the other panel so remember we're gonna go it's right here you see how deep it is so we're gonna start cutting here I'm gonna make a second speed and this is gonna work <laughs> I see we can lose that part already so now we're gonna switch those plates remember this one is the best now I have to get the orange plate actually for this kind of cat is this one so let me get my plate here really easy to release this one okay guys on this one remember we're gonna use the orange plate on this one let me just start cutting here I say the lubrication is very important to prevent any problems. So. So now I have the clip, I want to save the clip, so I'm going to try to cut around. So it's going to be a little hard, because I already got one part loose, but I want to go behind. Okay, so we see, we're almost there, so I got this part loose. Just a little bit on this part, and the top, and we're done. So the top is going to be a little more difficult, because I have the... Um, Headliner, but I'm gonna try to keep just the same way. I'm gonna put a lot of them on the lubricate. You see, we already cut this area, so now we're gonna cut the top and we finish. Okay, uh, let's look at here. 
a little blind in this part of the top so I'm just going to careful but just follow my cat it's not going to be a problem dun, 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 dun. point is because no lubricate so that's why okay looks like we're very cat let's make sure let's go outside and put on lock okay guys sorry about my camera is moving too much but these guys always set all the things inside the cars oh. okay guys let's see, as you see my quarter is already loose in this area okay the only have to cut is this area right now okay that's going to be more deep so in this case i'm going to use one of my cups because i don't want to just make the problem I don't want this thing to fall or something. Uh, okay. So we make the last cut here. Let me put my tool here. Uh, let's go here. Because those clips sometimes are a little far from the corner. So let's see. Guys. And let's see the vessels. There you go. Okay, looks good, you know. There's not much. This one was replaced already. You can see the glue is different. They have some spot of primer. So I think it has been replaced already. Got a primer all around. Yeah, this one has been replaced already. Uh, it's very nice, guys. So we couldn't say we saved the, the quarter. You can see the urethane. Yeah, this one was replaced already. I installed it for. Okay, guys, we saved the clip. This one, I have to break it, so. But it's okay use the primer so we're gonna put this one inside because these guys want to go early it's Friday so let me just put this one for a second just right here okay guys so I'm gonna just clean the glass give it to those guys just to prove the glass in the right condition it's an expensive one so that's why they want to save it but you see it's already replaced because I got a primer already attached to the body so you know okay guys so we finished so let me go with the conversion and see you in the next shot that was for this tool today I have to charge this one is not going to be really good so what i'm doing is i'm going to order an extension cord and i can use my uh, power supplies over here and i don't have any limit with the power because this one is it's run very really fast out i don't think it's going to be really good for for more than 40 minutes working on one car okay guys so see you next shot and let's go with this one i hate this one gotta take the interior out okay guys see you next Fump just to seal the window okay, let's see i had to find out that one so i'm gonna use a couple of tools here nobody likes these conversions because it's a lot of work so let's start here All right, so i'm gonna take the frame you see the problem with this one is we got this one here and sometimes this one came off so i'm crossing my fingers i can move it but if i don't move it i have to just lose the panel a little bit just to have the room because the problem is those right there on this kind of panel here so that's the worst thing so i'm gonna cut the video here because it's gonna take a little couple of times and see you in the next shot so when i take everything off okay see you next guys you see you're getting more free of this a lot a lot a lot a lot okay guys so see you next okay guys so when we start working remember we take all these bolts already so as you see the panel is coming loose check it out it's moving all of it so now what i'm doing is the, the problem in this axis is more difficult on this area so now this kind of conversions always come in with this kind of designs behind this one there's like a clips let me show you just careful these ones because that one is the cover i take them off because i'm gonna be very anxious and inside okay as you see right there because we haven't we have a light switch so there's the wires in there okay so i got the lights right there so now I'm gonna remove the rest. The balls remember here. I got more over here. Remember all the balls coming in different sizes. 
So you have to remember what is the long, long ones and what is the short ones. So the short ones always come in these areas, and the big, the long ones is this one because they have to reach the spots they they attach. So, so that's why. So that's why I'm separate this area from here from the other side. Okay. Right there. So now our panel is coming loose already here. Here I got this one here. So remember we have to just take this molding here. Just uh, I don't I would like to take all of them because this kind of piece can break one of these when they are really easy to damage. So sometimes it's a lot of work when you move these interiors, but it's more safe if you don't want to be emboldened in some paintings. Right. So we got the molding here. Ah. Ladies, on this area, as you see, it's better access in here. And now let me see if I got a Phillips inside there because this place is sometimes these conversions, and when they're finished, the conversion they just start put bolts in everywhere, Phillips, because they want to attach like this. You see, I got one here. That's what I'm talking about. You can find high those kind of Phillips in any spot. So that's why I have to be sure where it's right there. Usually you find those bolts in this kind of slots right here. So that, that's why they hide those kind of. I don't use, I don't want to use power here because sometimes you can damage the interior. Okay. Uh, and this time I have to, I want to use it, but I'm going to go manual. Ah, so you got to get careful, careful with the area. Because this single piece can break, but it's, it's hard to break it. It's the only one is have the axis just to this area you see this one right here okay because I need to take this one up or I have to try to go behind this one to get the bolts of the Phillips out that's the hard part here okay so now let me go to the other side you see this is loose I go to the other side and see you in the next shot okay so we're back on this side now what I'm doing I'm gonna disconnect the light because I don't want to have any accidents so remember the wires always hide inside Okay, so now we're free on this part. Okay, if I want, I can take this one off and the whole thing out. Would be better, but probably I need just this area, okay? Now remember, when you want to feel if the part is tight, just try to move it. If nothing is moving, it's because these bolts uh, or Phillips that are attaching. We have more, remember, when you take this one off on the other side, this thing is gonna fall, always happen. So let me just take this one off. Like this one, you see, it's damaged already. So that's what the video is, because it's gonna show the parts already damaged, and I didn't do it. All right, this part I'm gonna go straight here. So this video is gonna take a little more longer. You can skip this area of this part because I gotta record all this process. start loosening I got one bolt but it's under here so I gotta take that one off they always lose it 
this little covert and then take them out. Let me see if I can move this one only because this is you see is damaged already. That one right there, they tight. So that's why I don't like to use sometimes these drills when I have to just put it back on because sometimes they tight the bolts too much and they just break the parts, the plastic, you know, with my safety glasses. Because you see that one was too over tight. kind of conversion they use a piece of wood and then when they finish they just put all kind of screws in everywhere you see this part is hiding but it's attached with the same they did that because they know the part is already damaged so now let's go here is loose I had to take this one if I want but I'm just gonna leave it right there because the only I need is the room and this part I don't have any problem it's just the sides and the top well another way so let me take this one off too so we're gonna remove this one too Why these guys love to put the stuff inside? All this is gonna be damaged. I don't know why. Okay. Get more here. You see, they put another one right there. You see what I'm talking about? They always try to put more. And the weak areas. I want to strip that. There you go. Okay, so now I just take the wires out here. Then you set that one in and just point. Now what I have to do, uh, I'm gonna take this one off, that one out, and it's gonna have the access to this area. My problem here is they put glue on this part. So you can see it's right here. So I have to tell these people, maybe it's gonna it can be damaged, maybe not, but I have to remove this one slowly, but you see, like that. Okay, so because I have to remove all the way down and we have to re-glue re it again. So that's why we have it's a lot of work. So we have to we can charge more money for this kind of job. But you know, and over here I got everything ready. Okay, and I'm gonna just take this one off and just to move. There's enough room because I'm gonna use this one just to remove. I gotta use the axis in this area. That's all I need. Okay, guys, let me cut the video here um, because I have to take the 50 bolt right there and see you next time. And we take down right there. That one is already out. Oh. Okay, now we can just keep this one in a safe place. So right there. All right. Okay, so now we have all the space we need, or we want. Okay. I love when the seat has the airlift. Very smooth. 
Okay, right, let's go with you guys. It is the last one, it's Friday, so you know what's me. Go home early. Ah. Ah. Now. Much better now. I can just have all the room. I see all the parts. So, you see, they only have to remove this one, this one, that one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and nine, probably nine. And after that, I have to just move that one in this direction, on this direction, and pull up. And that's when I have the access to all my screws. I'm There's the hooks right there. Okay. There you go. Hook. Okay guys, so we we'll remove this one already. Because we got a glue here. Yeah, you see the panning? That's why I don't like these jobs too much. Okay, look at this, you see? You can see the bolts right there, feel it? Problem is, we have to put this one back in the place, so... It's gotta be careful. This part is more thin because this pushed too much for a long time. I want to make sure it's going to back in the same way. Okay, right there. That's all the we need. A little more. I don't like this area. It's really thin. When I finish, I have to just do the same way, just put it back and it comes flat. <sighs> Probably one little bolt right here behind of this one. Find that. Remember, when I finish, I have to make it look like nothing happened. Okay. I think that's enough. There you go. Because this part right here is attached, so it's the wood. So what I want is just get the room to move this one and my axis here. Okay, so let's gonna move this one a little bit. So move that one from here. 
if we want to take this one up and move up Right there. Now we have all the room we need here. Finally, we got this piece out. Okay. One more, and now you see we have all the access to this part right here. So really nice room, and all this part. I pull a little bit more, but it's fine. This is fine here, here, and all my room. Okay. You see, this is the holes for the bolts coming from the from the other part right here for the frame this one okay so i'm gonna get my little tool right here my socket and see you in the next shot guys okay see you next okay guys so we take the last bolt i was here it's really hard but i have a lot of room so that's why i know for many people you see this part is not broken it's just like that so many people maybe they're gonna stay in the video well it's a lot of work you don't have to take all this out but i mean it's the best way to do it in the right way without damage more parts breaking or just being like this like put your fingers or using a little wrench i mean this is not the good day like this is the best day to remove all the interior okay so i already get all the bolts out so i'm gonna go out and just take the frame and we're ready to go i'm cruising my fingers as only butyl tape or the little thumbs to seal the window because some people in the past they put silicone or urethane and uh, that's crazy so let me see and find out uh, let me go from here okay let's see okay i'm gonna use my suction cups here You can see the frame from inside is coming out. is expensive and it's really difficult to find you see this is only the seal so I always cross my finger because sometimes those people put uh, silicone or, or, or urethane so that's why okay guys so we finish today ah. so as you see this is the window right here I'm just gonna leave my frame in this area because it's attached so it's better just living like this because i don't want to lose the position for my frame so they're going to paint over here so they're not they're only going to do is just put some tape here and that's it okay guys so we're finished so it's friday so let's go home and see you monday okay take care guys see you monday